T-minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Ignition. Lift off. Vehicle is supersonic. We're just over one minute into flight. Falcon 9 is passing through the period of maximum dynamic pressure. We've vehicle is experiencing max Q. You've heard the call out. We're now experiencing maximum dynamic pressure, where the velocity of the first stage and the density of the Earth's atmosphere combine to create the greatest loads on the rocket. We're through that period. Merlin engines have throttled back up to full power. Propulsion indicates nominal. Power and telemetry also reported nominal. Next major activity, just a little under a minute from now, we'll have the Never main engine cutoff, followed by stage separation and ignition of the second stage engine. T plus two minutes into flight. We've got about another half a minute left in the first stage burn. Trajectory looks good. We're going right down the middle of the track. We've got a great view from the ground looking up at the Merlin engine plume on the Falcon 9. Main engine cutoff of the nine Merlin engines in about 10 seconds. Eco. Stage separation. Good recognition. Coming up on three minutes into flight, you hear the applause here from SpaceX headquarters in Hawthorne, California. We've had a good first stage shutdown, a stage separation, and a good ignition of the upper stage engine. Right after ignition, you may have seen a couple of pieces of metal coming off the nozzle. That's normal. Those are stiffeners that go around the bottom of the nozzle for use in transporting on the ground. They fall off as we go into flight. Next event coming up in about 10 seconds, we're going to wait and watch for fairing separation. Second stage is following nominal trajectory. Fairing separation confirmed. Again, the applause. You saw a good payload fairing separation. The fairing separating into the two halves and falling away. We're coming up on four minutes into flight. GNC reports trajectory is good. Acquisition of signal Bermuda. Acquisition of signal Bermuda indicates that the Falcon 9 telemetry is also being acquired by our ground tracking station in Bermuda.